Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 1964 Austin FX4 Taxi. Now this has 1,016 horsepower, 851 pounds feet of torque from a 7 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the vehicle itself weighs 3,221 pounds. It's now got all wheel drive, off-road tyres, off-road suspension, a lower roof line and a wider body and it can do not 16 4.374 seconds not to 104.783 seconds and going to a top speed of 237 miles an hour. So let's see what it can do. So yeah, this is the uh, 20th episode of this series so far on this game. And uh, yeah, it's been a uh, pretty interesting series so far with the kind of vehicles that are doing well over the ones that aren't. So um, yeah, not really sure what this is going to do because obviously it wasn't a car meant for off-road. It certainly wasn't a car meant to go all that quick. It's just meant to, you know, be able to eat the miles and uh, deal with city life as a taxi. So, yeah, this could go either way, to be honest. But granted, it does have a lot of power. Got decent acceleration. The reason the times are so close is because it struggles to put the power down to 60. But then, as your wheel drive kicks in and the turbos, etc., that we've not to 100 times, it's drastically reduced. Uh, but, yeah. Plenty of power, not all that much in the way of weight for a car of this size, but it's still far heavier than several other vehicles on this series. And uh, yeah, obviously being a large vehicle makes it a little bit less manoeuvrable. That wide body kit is certainly not helping. Should hopefully make it a bit more stable across these bumps and stuff. Dealing with everything okay. So no real issues with it, to be honest. Outside of maybe a couple of handling issues, but then you are dealing with a car that never had all wheel drive originally and had way less power than it has now. So I guess that's to be expected in some regards. But that's a solid time nonetheless at 2 minutes. Points, 2 minutes 7 seconds point seven eight eight seconds so uh, yeah that goes straight into 6th place beating the likes of the MGM MGMGA Twin Cam Volkswagen Baja Bug Can-Am Maverick and the Bentley 8 litre and uh, yeah it's not all that far off the Ram 2500 Power Wagon or Opel Manta 400 so yeah really rather impressed by that it's yeah less than a second behind that Ram Power Wagon which is obviously a car that had all-wheel drive originally and you know, was meant for some form of off-roading with its high ride height. And uh, yeah, to be only a couple of seconds slower than the uh, open mantle, which again was meant for going off-road as it was a rally car and was a hell of a lot lighter than this, is uh, yeah, fairly impressive because obviously this car is well and truly out of its comfort zone. It's certainly not pootling around at 40 mile an hour in London. It's, you know, doing 100 and odd mile an hour off-road on, in a, some, you know, in the, in the country. So uh, yeah, really rather impressed by it. And again, like every other car, I imagine if we took it out for more runs, it would go quicker. But I'm really rather impressed by that. I'm really rather surprised it was that quick. So, uh, yeah, no shame in that time whatsoever. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.